I think, honestly, my expectation is she's probably going to want both pass strings and coffins objective. So um, I told Ben, but basically we blocked, and I can put these on a disc or a memory stick or whatever for, for you guys to. Um, PD was the left first. So we did PD, stayed left, did an abaxial, switched to right. Right side, did an abaxial, a PD, it was a little bit better, and took that till we got better. So there's pain in both heels, but most of the pain is in between these two lines on both sides. And I think it really does fit. I, we have some obliques of the past turns too. Um, so here's right, DL, and DM. And you can see some proliferative changes in both spots. Um, and then let's see how <laughs> Interestingly, on both sides, I saw this on your films too. It looks like an old enthesia fight, probably old from a distal sesamoidian ligament. So those, there's the two the obliques that come and be down on the back of P1, and then there's the straight that comes straight down. That's an oblique insertion site. I didn't end up ultrasounding down there. I, I think I probably, for what she's going like, um, I, I probably treat the joints on both sides and see what you get, okay. and kind of go from there. Okay. How triumph a little better? I personally, what I do, and everyone's a little bit different on this, but yeah, triumph alone, which is hard to get right now. Okay. We have or, some. You do, yeah, yeah. good. Um, or beta methasone in the coffee joint. I usually put HA in, split a vial of legend or, or whatever. Um, and I usually put depo in past turns. Um, That's the part I want you remember. <laughs> I'm going to see what myself. And I usually put a 60 or 80 at least in the past turn. The way I learned to do them um, in school is different than what I have learned to do from Snyder. So I, I'll hold the foot this way and I'll come from like plantar lateral and medial, depending on, on the lefty, so I do it. Like on the right front, I'll come from lateral. Okay. Quite plantar. Okay. So like if the tendons are here, you're just coming right alongside the tendons and dropping the back of the joint. Okay. Then when you're cupping it, honestly, you can feel that joint distend, even with just a couple mils of depot, really nice. Okay. And I was blown away the first time I felt that. You'll actually feel it like under your fingertips on the dorsal side of the okay. joint. Um, so I put like 60 or 80 of depot in each pastor. I would put, six to nine of beta-methasone or ten, nine or ten of trimacinolone and like I say, some HA. Okay. Do you keep HA on the shelf? Because I can send you with some. Yeah. 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 And we've got some expired stuff too. Perfect. Okay. Even better. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Now what about Sustainer? I like okay. Adequan. Okay. I've been using Pentasam. Um, started using way more of it when Adequan was starting to get less gear. Um, I've been pretty happy with compounded Pentasam, honestly. Okay. Um, but as far as what I usually tell clients, they, I sell our penicillin for 30 bucks a dose. We sell Adipon for about 40 bucks a dose, a little less. And if they're the kind of people that like data and science, they usually buy Adipon for advertising. Right. Right. Gotcha. <laughs> and if they're they're less inclined to spend so much money, then they'll usually go with penicillin. But I've been happy with it. Okay. It's it's a pretty cool product. It definitely doesn't have all the data behind it's it. Still, an I am. I am, yeah, five cc's I am. Okay. Yeah. Do you need to do anything different with our shoeing? Um, yeah, so let's look at that. So this is the other thing. In addition to the OA on the um, coffin joint, so just to go back to these again, um, there's definitely enough proliferative change to warrant coffin joint injections from that standpoint alone. Then when we go to, um, that's the right, and this is the left. That's just the central sulcus of the frog, so that's nothing. Um, but there are changes, and pretty substantial changes, all through the flexor border of the navicular bone. Actually, right worse than left. Some of this is just x-ray technique. And right and left, they'll look about the same. So that's the other thing, is we're going to get a nice spillover effect by treating the coffin joint and get some effect back there. Um, so yes, to answer the question about shoeing, um, 
to get back to these again. How long, after you inject, how long will you go back to performance? I tell people that they can start back to work in three days, but that they shouldn't expect peak effect for two weeks. I've had some that are shorter, than, most are shorter than that, but very few continue to improve after 14 days. So that's, that's sort of the expectation. What, the two things that I think that would really help her in the x-rays make it plain is more caudal support. She's a good candidate for an Aventor type shoe, honestly, and then bring her toe back underneath her shoe. Yeah, and it doesn't help that she's, she, she was due and she... Sure, yeah, so she's that's what she looked getting like. getting overdue. Yeah, so I'm seeing the most extreme uh, end of the spectrum. Then that, we have a pretty good farrier because he's an old track, track oh, farrier. Yeah, who's so that? His name is John Herbig. He, okay. works, he works with Fred. Okay. And he just shoes a few horses. Cool. You know, late 50s, he doesn't want to shoe a lot. Yeah. He does a good job. Great. As far as yeah, so if she had blocked more to her heels, I'd be more emphasizing the navicular flexor tendon stuff. Right. Even that she improved there, I know there's a component of it. I think we're kind of covering both bases by treating the coffin joints. Okay. Yeah. So why the swelling in that leg so bad? Um, I think that that was something separate. Okay. So when I felt it, and I did ultrasound up there, I felt, and I know it was a lot worse, but um, soft tissue swelling, especially on the medial side, middle uh -huh. cannon bone on that left. When I looked at it, um, I'll show you here. We have to look at it a little bit differently, but um, there's a little bit. So this is lateral, this is medial. That is a little bit of soft tissue swelling around the ligament. Um, or and here's um, check suspensors are down there. There's a little bit of edema in the deep, but I compared it to the right, and so that's still left, and the right is only slightly different. That's a normal spot. This is check ligament coming in. That's a normal insertion spot there. Um, and so there's right and there's left. There's a little difference. Cross-sectional area is the same. And since she blocked so well down low, I think whatever she did, it's not a major cause of discomfort. How often should I inject her? I wouldn't go more than every 90 days. This is a great time of year to do it. I always tell our competition clients, you know, it's like now's the time to do it. Get them as good as possible for the summer. And ideally, if we do it now and do it in August, and then you've only done it twice a year and you're good and they kind of chill out in the winter. How much are her back legs decompensating because of this? She's a little sore. Right, she's been kicked out of shows before because of that, has, yeah. because of her back legs. But, I mean, that's how she's always been. Since yeah, she, I mean, she looks stiff. I, I wouldn't be surprised if between Adequan or Pentasan or whatever you like, and maybe hawk injections, she'd mm -hmm. feel a lot better. Well, see, I, which hawk did we inject? Her left? It's, she's always worse on her left side because she always turns left. Yeah, so I mean, we did her hawks last year. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think you'll see quite a nice improvement on the back end from doing this stuff to answer your actual question. I, I think, too, like you get 10 weeks into this deal, and if her front is holding nice, treating her back end will give her another nice bump in comfort and performance. Right. Because, I mean, her back, that's why she doesn't have shoes on her back, because we can't. Yeah, yeah. She kicks Peter her barrier. Up. Well, Peter. we do. We oh, sedate do. the crap out of her, too. Yeah, and okay. she just, as soon as he gets to messing with those back legs yeah. and picking them up, she launches them. Yeah. I use a ton of naproxen on client horses, and I feel more comfortable giving a 